Did you ever think you'd live to see the day where a government official, a high-ranking government official, would look at the system and say, this is crap, we got to do better? <laughs> Mr. Brown, in addition to Mosaic, which we have covered extensively, and we just did a video on it. If you didn't see it, you should go back and check. I'll put a link in here someplace to it because it is fascinating stuff. There are changes coming to the NOTAM system and instrument approach plates. I think we should touch on them. But let me start, Pat, with this. Are you braced? I'm going to read a quote from a government official. Are you ready? I'm ready. The notice to airman system is deeply outdated and showing serious cracks, says U.S. Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy. Over the last few years, we've seen multiple system outages, ground regional air travel, create extensive delays, and otherwise ruin the flying experience for the American people. It's time our technology enters the 21st century. NOTAM modernization is the first step as we work to deliver an all-new air traffic control system that makes air travel safer and more efficient. Did you ever think you'd live to see the day where a government official, a high-ranking government official, would look at the, the system and say, this is crap, we got to do better. <laughs> yeah, I got to say, you know, I, 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 I thought hell would never freeze over, but uh, apparently, uh, but- The time you know, has come. <laughs> the time has come. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's great news. It, I, I wish it was a little rosier and, and, I, and I'll explain why. Um, you know, we did a video on this several months ago, and the latest information we had as of that video was that uh, testing would start in July. Well, as we record this, it's basically August the 1st mm -hmm. and nothing. But so, so what we're told now is that airman testing, just the testing process, will be coming soon. There's, there's no definition of soon, but look, okay. Um, and, this, the, and deployment had been expected in uh, September of, of 2025. And now they're saying expected in October, uh, in October. So, 2026. Yeah. So, so yeah, that, that's a year out. And, and that's not shocking because government does tend to work at a glacial pace. And yeah. this is a big, this is the start of a major overhaul. Yeah. Um, much like the mosaic thing we've covered. It, it's not a little tweak. This is going to be a big thing. So the fact that it takes some time, frustrating, but maybe a good thing. <laughs> Yeah, for now, at this point, what it looks like for now is that it's a technology update. Bottom line is this, it's they're, they're, they're revamping the technology um, to that disseminates the, the NOTAM. As near as I can tell, that's, that's what's happening. Um, and, 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 and the FAA format, the NOTAM format, for now at least, isn't going to change. It's the technology behind the uh, the dissemination that appears to be really the target right now. Eventually, what they're hoping is that third parties, basically the EFBs in electronic flight bags, the four flights and whatnot, mm -hmm. will be able to have the flexibility to present the NOTAMs in their own um, their own format. Let's say using the FAA's uh, information much like some of them do with, you know, with the weather that they get off the NOAA site. And it's probably worth throwing out there just for people who are not well-versed in aviation but are interested. NOTAMs are notice to airmen. Notice to airmen. I'm sorry. They were notice to airmen. Then they were notice to air missions. Now they're notice to airmen again. But this is how we find out at our destination airport, there's a taxiway closed. There's a nav aid that's out of service. Uh, there's a runway under construction someplace. There's some lighting that's not available. And as pilots, we really do need to know before we go, by regulation, we are responsible to be familiar with all available information. We have to know what's going on here and there and in between, and no TAMs are how we do that. So part of the benefit of this, Pat, is that system had become so convoluted and there were so many NOTAMs that really had very little to do with the safety of flight. Having this overhaul and having those third party people like ForeFlight or Garmin Pilot or whoever be able to give this to us in a more understandable and accurate fashion, that actually might have a profound impact on safety of flight. And I'm all for that. 
you know, people may actually start paying attention to them. You know, that would be nice. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be nice. Cause I'll tell you right now, you know, I mean, I'm preaching to the choir, you know, Jamie talking to you sure. right now. This episode is brought to you by Rexair Professional Pilot Academy of Sebring, Florida. Rexair is a soup to nuts outfit that's got housing, classroom space. They fly RV-12 aircraft that are brand new factory built. They've got everything a flight student needs to be successful. So give them a call, 309-397-6191 or drop them a line, info at rexair.net. Rexair Professional Pilot Academy, Sebring, Florida. It, it can be really challenging to try to figure out exactly what a notum is telling you because you know it's written in english words but when you put those words together it's difficult to understand what they yeah, mean. they don't necessarily make sense <laughs> yeah exactly so you know i I'm, I'm hopeful i really am you know to have the secretary of transportation um uh you know acknowledge that we have a problem that's a big step right there. So I'm 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 cautiously optimistic. I'll put it that way. So if I could uh, synopsize this situation, the NOTAM world is changing. We're coming up on user testing now. We will theoretically see the implementation of the new system October 2026. So a little more than a year from now, we could probably expect a delay, but that's coming, and we will have hopefully a much better, more streamlined system that's actually user friendly. I think that's an excellent synopsis. Well, then let me go on to the next topic because we got things to do here, Pat. We can't spend all day. A change is coming to instrument approach plates yeah. that might shock some people. Information yeah. that has traditionally been on those approach plates may or may not be on them in the future, depending on what the airport diagram looks like. You want to dive into that one? Well, you know, those instrument pilots that are watching – know that on an approach plate, you probably have a clearance delivery frequency. You may have a ground control frequency. You may have a tower frequency. You may have a lot of those kinds of frequencies that are up there kind of cluttering up the box at the top. And the change that has been proposed will basically, the airport diagram will take the place of, of uh, listing those frequencies. So if an airport diagram currently shows a clearance delivery frequency, a ground control frequency, et cetera, et cetera. Those frequencies will no longer be on the instrument approach plate. So, it, you know, the, the theory is let's declutter, and, and I'm all for that. Oh, declutter is good. And, you know, just to illustrate this, Pat, this is an approach plate for an RNAV approach into Kennedy International in New York. And you'll notice there are clearance delivery and ground control right here on the plate. But you'll also notice when we look here at the airport diagram, that same information is on the airport diagram. So in the future, that instrument approach plate won't have that information. It'll just be on the airport diagram. So Pat, when you're shooting the approach into Kennedy, as you do so often, and you find yourself looking at the plate and going, oh, my God, where's the ground control frequency? Just keep in mind, you don't need that right now. That's later. And it's going to be over on this other document, the airport diagram. Yeah, I think I think some of us are going to have to get used to um, to having both of those documents up, uh, yep. whereas maybe maybe we didn't so much in the past. But overall, you know, I'm a big fan of decluttering this stuff if we if we can and ultimately hoping that it that has a positive impact on safety because we don't miss something that we've kind of trained ourselves to overlook because we know it's somewhere else. And this is exactly why you need to watch Mad Props Arrow because you don't want to be startled when you shoot that approach and you bring the plate up and the information's not there. But because you watch Pat Brown and Jamie Beckett religiously like a freak, you knew about that in advance and it didn't shake you at all. See? Public service, Pat. It's all public service. Like and subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you next week, buddy. Adios.